Hey, what's up? So, I've never done a Let's Play before, or anything remotely like this, uh, but I've been thinking a lot about Harry Potter lately. Uh, by that, I mean mostly thinking about how fucking unreally good the soundtracks for these games are. You can, you're hearing this in the background right now? That is the sweet, sweet sound of Jeremy's soul. But, uh... I've also been reading good old Prisoner of Azkaban for some Japanese reading practice. And that book was always my favorite in the series, but, uh... Just realized while reading it and listening to these soundtracks at the same time that I never actually pl played the video game of it. As a kid, I only ever just played the first two games for PC. Uh, and I guess I then decided that I want to consume every adaptation, like every translation, every iteration of that book, like some kind of insatiable prisoner of Azkaban monster. That's, I guess that's just a dementor. Prisoner of Azkaban monster is a dementor, isn't it? Uh, I guess what I'm saying is I want to kiss that book. I want to kiss it in the Dementor sense. I want to suck the very soul out of that good, good book through my mouth. Ah, oh, fuck, what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I decided I wanted to play the Prisoner of Azkaban game, and listening to the music for the first two made me want to play those again anyway, so figured why not start it from the beginning, record it, make an adventure I can share with anyone. I don't know if I will, like, be good at this, or even just, like, entertaining to listen to talk, but we'll see what happens. Um, sorry, I've just been sitting here on the fucking options and not doing anything. I'm sorry, everyone. Anyway, I was gonna uh, introduce this a little more, but I think these games just, like, have a lot of narration in them, so the first part here, as soon as I click new game, is gonna, uh, send us off on this little fucking narrator spiel. There was nothing okay, here, yeah, here we go. Sky that night to oh, suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it. Yeah, he's a half giant from the Chill. darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter. The boy who lived. And that's all the person writing this game decided that you need to know about the that. Years, you watched the movie, Harry right, fuckers? Step parents, the Dursleys. Step whatever. Until that fateful day when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I like that illustration of the Dursleys. Hagrid took it's very to political cartoony. The most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform <sighs> 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Yeah, like some of these illustrations are kind of charming. Some of them are super fucking wonky, Dumbledore though. Dumbledore stood up. Look at... This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer. Y you guys know who Dumbledore is. Death. Come on. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat. See, that's like a great picture of McGonagall. Chosen for I like it. House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat not in his ear. Not Slytherin. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Gryffindor! Wow, the hat was way less excited about that than I was. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, they have like, uh... They have chocolate frog cards in these games, and you go and collect them. Oh, I really like the uh, the Celtic knot motif here. Like, I don't know. Hogwarts is in Scotland, but I don't feel like there's much in the design in the movies that reflects it. I don't really, I never really watch the movies too closely anyway, so I guess I can't talk. Oh my god, all these kids are so excited. Where are they running to? 
There he is. Let's hear it for the boy. Who lived. Oh my god, he's floating. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Wait, <laughs> holy shit! Full of secret <laughs> Look at his glasses! <laughs> oh my god, those fucking, like, wraparound, solid gold visor sunglasses. Dumbledore has... Wow. Dumbledore's making some real big wizard-style statements. When I returned, they'd be Jeez, they're like a fucking brick. A nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Thank you for that incredibly weird anecdote. Uh, I think you were just encouraging me to go sneak around the school. I can't really tell. Uh, but your first lesson is upstairs on the third floor, Mr. Potter. So, is this what you, you do? Go? This is what you do during classes, Dumbledore. You just stand under like a lamp post on the. Okay, whatever. Have you tried, Harry? You'll never know where these corridors lead unless you explore them. Oh, he's definitely fucking encouraging me to skip to class. On the third floor, okay. Mr. Potter. What? Oh. Off you go. Okay, so, yeah. Left mouse button is our fucking... We don't have any spells yet is the thing. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. um. oh. Oh. oh man, I bet you guys love this. Just, uh, look at him scratch his head out of that idle animation. Okay, I'm still not used to the movement in this. Okay, so I like this one. This whoever is in this portrait is just out for lunch at the moment, and don't know why they left their hat behind. Don't know what kind of like function they're attending. Were I don't know what to make of this one. Hmm. Okay, but uh, so uh, one of the reasons I'm so attached to these games. Uh, oh man, that's so pretty. Is that? Yes, because it's so fucking pretty. There's just something about uh, Hogwarts here that captures some of the well, magic of the way that you kind of imagined it as a kid reading the books, and more than the movies does. I guess what it is is that... uh. Like, because it's a video game and it's a fucking old one and things are all blocky. Uh. Oh, god damn it. Cutscene. Hey, Harry! Remember me? No, Lord no. Wilson. I don't know who the fuck I you are. Fred and George have something to show you. Follow me! Okay. Yeah, I really want to know what Fred and George have to show me. Uh. Draco Dormian Snunquam Titanium. Is that because it's I don't know it's so old and blocky and stuff? It just uh, it's more abstracted, it's more cartoony, and it kind of leaves more room for the imagination. It's not so starkly realistic as stuff in the movie often is. Uh, and see, I'm just like so happy just looking around at this right now. It's so pretty because it just goes so well with the. Uh, Jeremy Soul music. Love that Jeremy Soul. Follow me, Harry. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to lessons. You see what I'm talking about, though. It'll be nice when we explore the grounds too. Okay, here they are. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I really don't like the sound of this. What the fuck? Good luck, Harry. <laughs> Ron is just going to go to. <laughs> okay, we're... Ron is just leaving me to get hazed by his nasty older brothers. Okay, that's nice. We're going to teach you how to climb. <laughs> climb to the bookcase and don't stop. Thank God. Climb up. A 
Above the bookcase is a Bertie Box Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. So. All right. Damn. Thank you guys. I never knew how to climb shit before in all my other 11 years of life. Well. Bam. Go. Go. Yeah, so beans are like currency in this game. For some reason. I don't know why that's the particular thing they decided to use for currency rather than like the actual currency that is in the thing, but it's funny and charming. I guess. Okay, what do you want? Well done. Oh no, there's now, peas. Oh let's shit. Try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. Alright. There's like a, uh... Thanks. Thanks, I got it. Auto jump? Oh shit, guys, there's auto jump. What? How does that work? Auto jump? What is... Oh shit! Auto jump. The auto jump is real. Oh, yeah. Oh fuck off, Peeves. That's Peeves, the poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like fresh years, so watch your step. <laughs> okay. What's he gonna do to me? How do I get over there? I'm Peeves Potter, and you better watch out for me. Uh, okay. I'm Peeves Potter, and you better watch out for me. There's like a, some boss fight with Peeves later on that's really fucking annoying. Oh, I'm, I'm a dumbass. What does that. Potter, you're ugly, but what could we do? What am I missing here? Is this like a British children's taunt that I don't understand? I hate you. Okay, here we go. You're getting the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you find all sorts of wicked treats. Wicked. Pick up a treat. Just run over to it. Is that the great lady? Fox boost your energy. Bertie bots every flavor beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us, and we'll show you the way to class. I'm being scammed. Yeah, I get it. I see how it is. I'm just your bean collecting slave. I love the ambient soundscape of these games. You you're always just hearing like Peeves cackling in the distance, or chocolate frog somewhere. You don't know where it is, but it's somewhere close. Uh, what do you want? Hi, guys. Oi. We're counting on you to help us get those beans. They're right the fuck there! Fuck you! <sighs> oh, yeah, and your uh, health gauge is a it's lightning, lightning bolt. Whop! <laughs> Auto jump! Oh man. Look at all this work that I don't have to do. I don't have to press jumping buttons. It's great. To give you a perspective on how fucking bad I am at video games, uh, I have a couple hours logged on Dark Souls. Like, by a couple, I mean like four or five. And, uh, I. I. I haven't got past the skeletons at Firelink Shrine. Uh, I've managed to kill one of them twice and then immediately gotten mobbed by like three others or something and died. And. Oh, there's definitely fucking something back here. Uh. I guess I have to go to class to. 
find out how to do spells. Talk to Fred. God damn it. He's the one with the wizard card. Okay. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Oh. Here's a wizard okay. card for you. You've earned it. All right, Dumbledore. Great. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. This is exactly what happens whenever I get a new Yu-Gi-Oh card. Okay. Him. All right. What's up, guys? You get going, or you'll be late for your first lesson. You better get going. Do you guys just not have school? Is that what it is? <gasps> this particular trap right now feels very RuneScape to me. I don't know why, but like you feel me? Okay. Whoa. Cutscene suddenly. Well, oh boy. Well, well. <laughs> If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. How I'm Jacob Malfoy, <laughs> and you do well to show me respect. No, I don't He's think I will. Oh my god, he looks like a fucking gremlin. And Goyle. Naturally, <laughs> so we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup. <laughs> he looks like a head cup. shorter than Harry. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys! <laughs> Hi, Math Oil. I love you. You're ridiculous. Okay. Oh, it's Filch. Hey, Filch, what's up? Move along, Potter. Keep away from oh, this corridor. You know what's Potter. good for you. I definitely. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are those usually the noises? Are those usually the noises you make when signing off after a conversation? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm out. Bye. Hermione, what's up? Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express. No, the cutscene didn't show me that part. Against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. I don't know, Hermione. Will you guide me through this door? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm incompetent. Oh, there he is. I am Professor Quirrell. Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against. Oh, right, speaking oh, of speech impediments, if I like trip over stuff while I'm talking or mispronounce something ridiculously. Please don't make fun of me because I have one and I will be really sad if you do. Uh, be gentle with me. Okay. I was not listening to that. Okay, I gotta fucking trace this perfectly. Color within the lines. There we go. What? Fuck you, that didn't happen. I was much better than that. Well, I got a B. An Lependo. Effort, Mr. P Potter. Thank you. Five points for Gryffindor. Mm, five. T -t Try again, Mr. Potter. Okay. Yep. Bam. Oh, that was really shitty. I, I don't understand. What, what am I supposed to do to make it better? Well done. But I How? Can Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Ten points for Gryffindor. Why did you give me more points when I did worse this time? Faster this time Mr. That's what I just did, and it got was worse. This is taking all of my concentration here, guys. Oh, so fucking hard. <laughs> Just nodding, nodding at me. Okay, good to know. I'm really interested in what that rabbit over there, the red one, has to do with the diagram. Like, what magical theory are they talking about here that involves the rabbit? There's lots of stuff like that in Transfiguration, but this is, a uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts. And for Pendo is... Actually, I don't remember what kind of, uh, spell Pendo is. Is it a charm? Oh, no? <sighs> Shaking his head at me. Okay, three out of four. 
Okay, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to pr practice this Okay. Spell. Yeah, so we have these like challenge dungeons. They're they're pretty much just dungeons. Um This seems like a bad way to conduct the class, but Alright, I'm actually gonna end the video there for now. Uh, I recorded like uh, 40 more minutes in the same sitting, but I just want, I it feels nicer to keep things in like 20 minute chunks, but that's just me. Uh, if you actually watch this point, I'm astounded. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure had fun recording it.